Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have. Hey yo, man, we got um uh, who we got over here, man? Yo, we got Will Smith talking crazy, man. I'm, I'm talking crazy. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> you, you ain't gonna believe what he's talking about. Anyway, um, the guy who robbed Safari, man, found guilty, man. We also got um uh, Jay Z not being allowed to record a verse. Um, who else we got over here, man? Kodak Black, Kevin Durant. And uh, we got some information on uh, the Ahmad Arbery case, man. Hey, yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Hey, yo, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up? Yo, yo, if this is your first time to the channel, man, be sure, you know, that's my people's out there, man. Be sure to hit that like button if you feel any part of the content. We definitely appreciate that, man. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed to the channel. And hit that notification bell so you can be on deck when we drop the insanity, man. You see what I'm saying, man? Yo, 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 we got to set you off right now with uh, my Meek Mill real quick, man. Meek Mill has reported, right? Where we at here, man? I, I know I got this joint right all right, look, so look, um, in, in case you ain't know, right, uh, Kyle Rittenhouse, you know what I'm saying, the testicle that has shot at those people, right, this clown has, um, has been found not guilty, you already know that, right, this dude <laughs> was invited by the former president Donald Trump to visit his Mar-a-Lago estate in Florida, and Donald Trump stated about Kyle Rittenhouse, the man who shot three people then killed two at a Black Lives Matter protest, right? Donald Trump said, quote, he is a really nice young man, close quote. That's what he said about the dude that took the picture holding up the white supremacy sign. Why do people that be coming in my comment section talking about Kyle Rittenhouse never acknowledge the fact that he was holding up that okay uh, white supremacy sign days after you see what i'm saying he killed somebody i don't understand why these people ain't talking about that meek mill has chimed in into the discussion he stated quote it is clear to see that the system is totally designed to destroy black and brown people surprise surprise meek tv programming can't hide it anymore i don't believe in nothing i was taught in history from public school anymore now i'm educated you can't quite go in the extreme. That ain't always the right course of action. You see what I'm saying? Because you gotta. There's a lot of things you gotta accept from history. But I get what you're trying to say. The system is the. He continued on to say the system is the second stage of slavery. Mm, true. And the government fully understands the damage it does to our people not having money and incarcerating most of us. I was so caught in trying to overcome poverty in the streets. I never noticed how deep the system really is. Pay attention this is what meek mill says man you know what i'm saying i mean my thing is this man um you, you know how it is man this look like i said man i find it very fascinating that uh hip-hop right makes the is like the music genre that makes some of the like the most money you see what i'm saying and and the 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 hip-hop that makes the most money is gangster rap which glamorizes crime and, and criminality and criminology in the whole nine yards you see what i'm saying <laughs> all the while right people following that course of you know the course of uh, action of gangster rappers they wind up getting incarcerated themselves you see what i'm saying contributing to the slave population because you know prison is slavery yeah i mean 13th amendment you know what it is you see what i'm saying oh and uh, on that line of um thought right the ahmaud arbery verdict is in it's in it's officially in okay um the three men uh that that murdered that that were involved in the murder of Ahmad Arbery have all been found guilty. Praise the Lord. You see what I'm saying? Now, um, uh, all three of the all three of the of the of the of the, of the penises, right? Travis uh, McMichael, Gregory McMichael, his father, and William Road Bryan. Okay, Travis M McMichael was the gunman who shot Ahmad uh, with the shotty. You know what I'm saying? With the shotgun. All right? His father was Gregory McMichael, and you know how it is in Georgia. Okay. If you are with someone that commits a crime, you will be charged with murder along with the person that pulled the trigger. Henceforth, I mean, henceforth, therefore, right, all three of these penises have been charged with murder and all three of these genitals have been found guilty. Um, the main trigger man, Travis McMichael, was found guilty. The other two were found not guilty. All right. Um, uh, felony murder. Father and son were both hit with guilty charge for the felony murder. The dude that recorded the joint, he was found not guilty on that count. Right. All three have been found um, guilty of felony murder. Count three. Count four felony murder. All three have been found guilty. Count five of felony murder. All three have been found guilty. Aggravated assault. Father and son. 
um, that's count six, count seven, eight, and nine. That's aggravated assault, false imprisonment, and count nine, criminal attempt to commit a felony. All three clowns have been found guilty. Yo, man, now we just got to wait for the sentence so you know what it is. We ain't out the woods yet. But <laughs> may these cats rot. Uh, I don't know, man. You know what I'm saying? I do believe in, yo, I, I support Christianity 1,000%. I love Jesus 1,000%. I support the death penalty when it is accurately applied 100%. Yes, we will forgive you. Yes, you can go on and get, uh, you know, electrocuted. You see what I'm saying? Or whatever the means is by which you get the death penalty. You see what I'm saying? Because why should I pay? Why should I pay with tax dollars for your lunch? You see what I'm saying? No, I don't want to pay for your lunch, fam. No. Anyway, um, uh, my bad. That that was a whole long uh, what you might call it, but you know what it is. Going to be a short one today. Um, uh, let me tell you something. When I say this earth is ghetto, I, I feel like I understand gerrymandering, man. You like the hell is that? That is when like like a political party or a group in control of the state legislature, right? When they start redrawing or drawing district boundaries in such a way as to favor their own candidates in subsequent elections. L look, I think, right, this earth has been quarantined from other planets because it's so ghetto. As soon as we turned on the most high and started hanging our tennis shoes on the wires of the solar system and started putting our indoor furniture outside, the most high was like, I gotta get the hell away from these. I gotta get these people the hell away. I gotta get the hell away from these other civilizations. You see what I'm saying? And the hell was us, okay? He, he was talking about us. You see what I'm saying? Case in point, Kevin Durant. Look, look at this. Look at this picture with Kevin Durant. Look at the man's legs for heaven's sake. Look at him. The man has been walking on these. Dr. Du Guru. Dr. Guru came and uh, came on. You know what I'm trying to say, damn it. He came out on Twitter after seeing KD's legs talking about, please put some lotion on your legs, dog. Right? Vitamin LAL posted a pic of a white walker from Game of Thrones talking about, oh, Kevin Durant's legs. Right? It's a beautiful pic. Okay? While Bond Daddy posted, quote, he really a snake. <laughs> LOL. LOL. Right? Uh, imagine if Quills came out from around the cut and pulled the old, everybody get butt naked right now. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> you, you know what Quills would say to KD right now? Sauce, what would Quills say to KD right now? What is that? Yo, give me that money, son. Go upstairs and pull on some lotion. Right now. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> you like, yo, man, you only covered like two stories. All right, all right, we, we gonna keep it moving. Kodak Black is trying his hand at love once again. The man will let it be known in a heartbeat that he loves a woman. Last I remember, it was like uh, Mellow Rax or something like that, right? Well, was it Mellow Rax? I don't know, right? He done told Zendaya he would cuff up Spider-Man if he had to. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Spider-Man. I'm getting robbed in the cold streets of New York, right? Behind the crooks is Spider-Man, ready to save the day. And behind Spider-Man, that's right, is Kodak Black. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like... Really so? <laughs> look, young Miami, right? Even Kim Kardashian. But <laughs> look, <sighs> Hennessy, Carolina, right? And he, his focus right now is on Hennessy, Carolina. In terms of attractive, on a scale of one to 10, she's a 32, I get it. You see what I'm saying? But Kodak posted, quote, um, Hennessy, Carolina, need to marry me, right? I'll be a good boy, close quote, I'm concerned. You see what I'm saying? Now, this ain't the first time Kodak expressed his love for Shorty. In fact, remember a couple years back, I think it was like 2018 or so, your boy Kodak posted, quote, I want to eat you till you pass out and die. <laughs> close quote. I'm like, damn, this, this ninja's hungry. You see what I'm saying? Uh, let me do my shout outs real quick, man. Um, who we at here? Uh, I know I got some shout outs around here somewhere. All right, look. Yo, shout out to my boy, Area Boy, man. Hold, holding that, holding it down in, I think it's Hawaii, right? Ain't you in Hawaii, uh, Area Boy? You know what I'm saying? My man was like, yo, Celeb, what's with the late upload? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yo, he's talking about last night, man. We uploaded a little bit late, man. I, you know what I'm saying? YouTube had up hemmed up against the wall. Had us hemmed up against the wall. You see what I'm saying? So, you know. But yo, man, we appreciate all of y'all. Even though we dropped late, man, a lot of y'all still came through. We definitely appreciate y'all for that. My girl LS came through. Said, yo, don't uh, underestimate the role you play on this planet. Without you, 
the world would not exist in the exact way that it does. See, this is what I'm talking about right here. Everyone serves a purpose one way or another. Spread kindness. It costs zero dollars to be kind. On another note, celeb. What you're saying does make sense. Because sometimes I ain't know. You know what I'm saying? She said, it just comes out a little stupid sometimes. But that's why I support you. You're unapologetically real. Love and respect, celeb. L.S., you know I love you. You see what I'm saying? I mean, always, always coming through, man, supporting your boy. Hope Line came through and said, yo, when you was talking from 1630, it made complete sense. My mom passed away a few years ago, and I, I ain't been right since. You see what I'm saying? Well, she said I haven't been the same, but haven't been the same ain't been right to me is the same thing. She said, I often struggle how to verbalize how I'm feeling, but I love the way that you articulated it. Yo, we appreciate that, man. You see what I'm saying? Sometimes, man, we just we just aim to be a voice, man. Um, You know what I'm saying? Speaking for the most high, and we also want to be a voice for you as well. You see what I'm saying? saying because we love y'all out here in these streets you see what i'm saying anyway let's keep it going man um let me tell you something if i ever make it big right i'm moving you see what i'm saying the artist safari was robbed back in 2018 during an interview uh, and, and he stated that during an interview with angie martinez remember this uh so safari is my guest today what's happening first of all are you okay um i just oh man I just got robbed. What do you mean just now? Just like right now? A couple, a couple hours ago, I just got robbed. Like two dudes with guns just ran upon me. I me mean, face down on the floor with a gun to my head. It just took everything. Now, hopefully that played, man. He, he stated, quote, I got robbed at gunpoint. A couple of hours ago, I just got robbed. Like two dudes with guns just ran up on me, had me face down on the floor with a gun to my head. They took everything. You see what I'm saying? Close quote. Look, every, everything that he was talking about was $180 in $180. Come on, man. Do you understand like numbers, fam? It was 180 k in cash and jewels. Right, right. You see a bag full of jewels right now in your mind, right? Now that happened back in, uh, I think it was 2018, and all three of the men have been caught and found guilty of first degree robbery, weapons possession, and resisting arrest. Uh, the, the, the third dude that just got caught faces up to 50 years um, when, he, when he's being sentenced in January, and the other two involved in a robbery, one of them pled guilty to conspiracy, and the other is Safari's childhood friend. You see that, man? I mean, hate is real. You see what I'm saying? And finally, bro, you ain't gonna believe this, man. Look, Will Smith just keeps on talking, man. And, and it's becoming more and more clear now. It, it's like he's doing what he's doing on purpose. Like, I feel like I pulled up to his house, right? And I caught him with a gas canister and a box of matches with some dynamite sticking out of his book bag. And he put a cigarette into his mouth and lit the joint while nodding at me like, what's up? You see what I'm saying? This man keeps coming back into the screen door like, oh, and another thing. You see what I'm saying? At this point, I'm like, bro, look, let me talk to your ass for a second. You see what I'm saying? Look, I can see Venus and Serena right now with their hand over his Will Smith's mouth like this. Shut up. Shut up, Jeff. Shut up. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Look, look, Will Smith has stated, right, with, with his own face, the man says, that he was so broken up about his high school girlfriend Melanie cheating on him that he went on a sexual rampage. Source, where's my rampage clip at? That's right, that's right. The man went on a complete sexual rampage. Wait a minute, wait a minute. If he was broken up about Melanie cheating on him, then I wonder what he did when... Well, well, forget it. Look, 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 right? The man said he went on a complete rampage, that it was so intense, right? That his, his sexual rampage was so intense that he began vomiting whenever he orgasmed, right? Are you ready to throw up yet? I hope you ain't eating. Look, look, what, you think I'm lying? <laughs> you, you think I'm pulling your chain? Sauce, they think I'm jerking their chain. What we got to say to that? I'm not jerking your chain, fella. This guy, Logan. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> you like, yo, are you done, right? <laughs> oh, man, that would have been the perfect time to in insert this clip. Source, hit him with the clip. Are you done? All right, all right, all right. Look, look, look. We're going to behave ourselves. Look, look. Will Smith stated, 
quote, up until this point in my life, right? I had only, uh, I had only had sex with one woman other than Melanie, but over the next few months, I went full ghetto hyena, right? Close quote. Why ghetto hyena? You see what I'm saying? Don't you feel bad for hyenas now? Anyway, he added, quote, I had sex with so many women and it was so constitutionally disagreeable to the core of my being that I developed a psychosomatic reaction to having an orgasm. I'm like, this guy's really trying to sell this book. Look, when he says psychosomatic, for my youths out there, right? Psychosomatic, right, is like um, conditions in which psychological stresses adversely affect your physiological functioning to the point of distress. In other words, your mind is making your body have crazy reactions, okay? Will Smith said, quote, it, he's referring to the orgasms, would literally make me gag and sometimes even vomit. Are you, are you, ladies, are you picturing this? This man is, this man is busting a nut and gagging at the same time. In every, look, he said, in every case though, I hope to God this beautiful stranger would be the one who would love me, who would make this pain go away. But invariably, there I was, retching and wretched. And, and the look in the eyes of the women even further deepened my agony. Close quote. That, my friend, was an agony. It was shame. You see what I'm saying? Look, look. Ain't it all becoming clear now, man? Like, in my mind, right? All I see. <laughs> you like, celeb, please don't. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. All I see is like smoke clearing out. Like, fog is being lifted. I, and, and I can see clearly now. Jada just standing there like, see? See that? You thought I was messy, <laughs> right? Well, sorry, Jada. You, you know, but your stuff came out first. I, I thought like, like. Like, well, well, damn it, ain't it for better or for worse, man? And it's, and in sickness and in health, that clearly was in sickness. Oh, damn, Jay, Jay done walked off. You see what I'm saying? Come back, girl. I, I ain't mean it like that. Sweetie, come back. Look, I was just saying, Jada, Jada. <laughs> damn it, she left. Look, look, let us know what you think, man. Ain't it all becoming clear now? Look, when you're 53 years old, are you gonna overshare? <laughs> I guess the bigger question is, have you been oversharing already? You see what I'm saying? <laughs> but not picking up the cues from the people around you. You know that everyone wants to know when you, whether you fold or bunch up your toilet paper, right? Everyone is not concerned about what you're doing with your penis, rap artist. You see what I'm saying? Do I really need to know about your box being wet and gushy? Ain't that in the same family as my feces is long and squishy? It's the same type of thing, man. It's, it's a reason they're called privates. Are you following my drift, man? Hey, yo, let us know what you think in the comments below. <laughs> have, you, have you ever gagged and retched and threw up upon orgasming? I remember one time, Lil' Kim told a story, right? And she said that she was so drunk that, like, she was, you know, with the dude. And, and I guess she was on the top, right? And she said that she, she threw up on the dude. I would lose, like, like, if that happened to me, right? I would like be in custody the next day. Are you following my drift, man? Hey, yo, let us know what you think in the comments below. <laughs> yo, ain't this place ghetto? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source, Celeb News.